Hello my dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity and in this video I'm on the mission to create a matching set of holiday pajamas for my entire family. That's right. Now I think you can see a lot of these as an example from like shop catalogs or maybe like family greeting cards and they're super cute. But my initial thought was oh this could be a really great useful gift. As you know it's really important for me that whatever I make is also being used. However what I did not think about is that this guy, this guy right here, is the world's toughest customer. I kid you not. Gonna be happy with that? Probably not. Why not? He also happens to be my husband so yeah I really should have thought about it before I got this idea in my mind but let's get started. Right, so the first thing that we actually have to do is to draft the patterns for the pajama bottoms. Now for the tops, I do have another idea so we'll just gotta see, but for the patterns that I need to draft is for myself, I don't actually even have to reinvent the wheel. I have my favorite jogger pants pattern that I made, I don't know, quite some time ago. This is actually what I'm wearing as well. <laughs> it's going to be perfect for pajamas. For my little one, not a problem either. And this is probably going to be like half a size up because she just grows so fast. And then of course, I gotta draft one for my husband as well. But first, the measurements. Can I measure you? Sure. All right, hands up. We're gonna measure your waist, gonna measure your hips. I play with you. I know you are. Then we will do body rise and total length and a couple of other measurements. Awesome. Then of course I have to draft the pattern. Okay, I'm actually really excited to go fabric shopping because I haven't bought fabric in a while and this is for a very special project. So we're gonna get these done real quick and then we're gonna head to the store. I got done with mine and with a pattern for my daughter, but for my husband I decided to go a step further and make sure that it fits just like he wanted because you know, <laughs> he is a tough customer. And then my family members have informed me that, you know what, they won their pajama pants with pockets. Few inches later. Now, if you want pockets, I need your hand right over here so that way I can draw around how big of a pocket you want. Like this. Okay. Gonna be happy with that? Probably not. Why not? Not big enough. How is that not big enough? Do you need a pocket till the knee or something? And on this cheerful note, I counted out how much fabric I need with all the patterns that I made, including pockets. <laughs> so we are ready to go fabric shopping. And so the quest for fabric begins. Why do we go to Red Tech section first? Because we like it cheap. They have some Christmas fabric here. Come, see. Mm. Nope. Um. Okay, let's try our luck right over here. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Look what we found. Ooh, stretch fleece. Or the waistband, this one or this one? Which one? By my calculations, three yards of this 54 inch wide fleece should be totally enough for three pairs of pants. And after that, we only have to pick up a couple of things for the shirts of the pajamas and then the quest is complete. So I got home, got changed. All of this right now is gonna go into the laundry machine. But while that is being done, we're going to start working on the tops of the pajamas. And for that, I have an interesting idea. Paper art cricket. This is what I want. All right, ever had uh, a thought in your mind that you thought would be perfect and then you realize that these two colors are um, not matching? <laughs> Okay, I need an opinion of an expert. So, uh, these are the options that I have. This is the gray, this is the glitter, this is gold, black and white. That's it. So, which one do you think? Oh, wait a second, where's the t-shirt? Where did I put the t-shirt? Any 
anyway, I, put, <laughs> I don't know, I put it a lot. Oh, oh, wait a second, there it is, there it is. I would probably say this one goes best with the green, I think. Yeah. And then this one goes best, then this one would probably go go with the green, and then this one. We shouldn't have gone with gray shirts. <laughs> so. Knew it, we should have gone with red. And we probably should have gone with the red, but in all fairness, it was totally my call to go with the gray shirts. So if it doesn't turn out cute and doesn't look good, you guys have all the rights to blame me. But I am determined to make it look fun and festive. I'm gonna take a look and oh wow, there are a lot of really cute things that you can put on the sort of holiday Christmassy t-shirt. So I just have to make up my mind, get it done, start the laundry this time, and I'll see you in a bit. it aside because this is a quiet task so I can complete that at the end of the night when everybody's sleeping but the sewing machine as you know is the opposite so once the dryer is done I'm gonna go ahead and start on cutting this is probably the most crucial part of this whole process I like to call it a pattern puzzle because I really have to sort of nest the pattern one next to each other so that way I can cut everything that I need from just three yards of fabric not to mention I also have to pattern match because as you see this fabric has really well-defined stripes it looks a little bit like a disaster zone Ooh, but it's coming along it's coming along I know that some of you were a little bit skeptical about my decision of cutting out all three pairs of pants just out of three yards of fabric, but I did count it out. And according to my calculations, we should be able to do it. So have some faith in me, people. I think we're going to be able to do that without a problem and even have some stuff left over for like little crafts and things like that. While I'm cutting all of these pattern pieces, here are a couple of things to remember if you would like to make your own pajamas for your entire family. Number one, this is a little trick that I use in order to pattern match and it works really well. Number two, all of the tutorials are available on my channel for drafting pants and cuffs and pockets and waistbands and all of that good stuff. So if you need to, you can find everything on my channel. And as always, thank you so much to the members of the channel for your support. It is incredible to know that there is such a wonderful community and check out your members perks because there will be a members extra video where we will take a deeper dive into this project. So I've cut my husband's pants and my own pants but now I have to cut little one's pants out of whatever is left over here and pocket bags as well so have a little bit of work to do and then we'll be ready to sew. Fast forward 10 minutes it is finally finally done. Now I have to go ahead and get started on the sewing part, which is actually the easiest part of them all. Well, maybe uh, finishing up the t-shirt is going to be the easiest part, but sewing is gonna go super straightforward because I have three pairs of pants. I'm gonna sew them in a batch sewing style. So we're gonna start with pockets and I'm gonna complete all of the pockets. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the pockets to all of the pans and so forth. So every single action that I do, I'm going to repeat it for all three pans and that makes it faster, easier, super efficient. For this entire project, I'm using my serger and a little bit of cover stitch on the pockets and on the hems. But you, of course, can complete it on the sewing machine without a problem. Just use appropriate stitch for whatever fabric that you're using. And then of course elastic that goes into the waistband and look at this one <laughs> I even added a cute little label to the back of my husband's pants this label was actually sent to me by a friend which is very very sweet and I'm super happy that it found its way in these Christmas pajamas the pants are almost done. Couple last stitches, couple of things here and there tucking in all of the loose threads making everything nice and pretty okay the final stretch people, the t-shirts. For 
first I went ahead and I cut up all the little details so that way it's really easy to sort of see how the graphics on the t-shirt will come together and then I started with the t-shirt for our little one after it was done for her, I went ahead and I completed my t-shirt and after I got done with mine, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go and let my husband do his own t-shirt because you know, he got done with his fairly quickly. So yes, people, yes, we are ready for the final reveal. quite a large project but it was totally manageable we did it and the most important part everybody seems to be happy with their jammies so it's a win in my book thank you so much for watching happy sewing happy creativity and I'll see you very soon in another video bye